reactions are by far the worst I have ever had. Everything's gonna be okay. We're almost at the hospital. I sure hope so. Uh, looks like your mom's calling. Well, don't pick up right now. It's probably the kids. They can't see me like this. Just make sure we get to the hospital safely because it feels like this baby is coming now. Now? Yes, now. Excuse me, we need help back here. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. I'm just gassy. Oh my God. Oh, babe, it stinks. I couldn't help it. Sorry. All right, honey, let's get you inside. Yes, please. She's been screaming the entire ride. And what is that smell? Tell me about it. Just get me into the hospital, please. You guys are gonna take good care of me here, right? Of course we are. We always do. Hun, don't worry. I already told you. You got this. Yo, in good hands, dear. August, I appreciate your kind words, but how about you try getting pregnant next time? And you know, when you're going through it, I'll just tell you you got this. Women. Oh, look, the kids are calling again. Hi, babies. Hi, kiddos. Hello, Annie. How's everything over there? Everything is just fine. Don't you worry. You know these kids know better than to act up with me. How's everything over there? It seemed like we were in the ambulance forever, but they just got us a room. And I'm being seen by the doctor now. I'll get the kiddos ready, and we'll be heading to the hospital soon. Okay, and kids, mommy is doing A-okay. She's so excited to be with you all soon and with our new baby. So, how long have you been having contractions? So, my contractions have been three minutes apart for the last few hours. Bye, babies. Mommy will see you soon, okay? And you'll get to meet your baby sister. Keep being good for grandma. We'll see you guys later. Say some prayers. Bye. Bye, mommy. Bye. Bye, baby. Three minutes apart? You should have been here sooner. You need to come into the hospital if they're every five minutes for more than two hours. I told you, babe. She's been pretty, uh, difficult today. <laughs> you said I was difficult. Babe, come on, it was just a joke. Y'all two could work this out later. If they're that close together, that means the baby can come any time now. The sooner this baby comes out, the better. <laughs> Keep breathing, you're doing a great job. I know you're in a lot of pain, but just think of the baby and how all this pain will be worth it. Okay, okay, I'm trying. You got it, one more big push. So is everything okay with her? Can I hold her? Looks like you have a happy and healthy, beautiful baby girl. Of course you can hold her. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, she looks just like you, babe. She is so cute. Look at her little curls. Hi, she's precious. Do you have any names in mind? I'm bringing the birth certificate and social security paperwork in the bed. So if not, you'll need to make a decision soon. Oh no, uh, we actually haven't picked out a name yet. August, do you have any ideas? Maybe, uh, Lucy? I don't know, she doesn't really feel like a Lucy to me. Can we just have a little bit to think about it? Sure, don't take too long now. We won't, we promise. And thank you so much for all your help. No problem, dear. My family! How was the drive? You guys finally made it. Is that my beautiful grandbaby? No, it's me, August. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You're not my grandbaby. You're just a big baby. Aw, look at the baby. Anyways, what did you name this sweet little girl? Well, honestly, we haven't named her yet. August was suggesting Lucy, but I don't know. Leo, want to get up here and say hi to your little sister? Yes, please. Okay, come up. Layla, don't be snobby. Come say hi. 
I can see from here. Let me actually go ahead and put her in her onesie because I'm sure she's getting cold. August, while I'm doing that, can you get the hand sanitizer for them? I sure can. Okay, Leo, how about you come and sit next to me? Careful, little man. She's fresh out the oven. Okay. Okay, here, gently take her. <laughs> Don't do that, Leo, because next thing you know, I'm gonna have a full head of gray hairs. Okay, let's try this again. Wow, she's so small. She is, she is very small. I remember when you used to be that size, bud. I know it wasn't that long ago. Layla, are you sure you don't want to hold your baby sister? Mm, not right now. Okay, that's okay. You don't have to hold her, but come up here and sit next to me. Mom, do you want to hold her? Layla, I think you should hold her. You might regret it later. It's okay, August. Maybe we shouldn't force her to do it. Can we just go home now? It's so boring here. Well, me, your dad, and your little sister are going to have to stay overnight. And you guys are going to go home with grandma and we'll see you guys in the morning, okay? Why? Because the doctors have to monitor mommy and the baby to make sure everything's okay. Woo! I am beat! Today really took a toll on me! She's so beautiful. Way too beautiful to be nameless. You're right, Mom. The doctor's probably going to be back any second with the birth certificate stuff. Anyone have any name suggestions? Hey, how about you help me name the baby? Because between me and you, your dad is hopeless. I say Peppa, like the pig. Um, we'll come back to that one, buddy. Looks like your little brother's hopeless, too. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? How about Leah? Wait, Leah is actually such an adorable name for her. And it matches the L theme that we're going with. Leah? I mean, it's not Lucy, but it's not bad. Give it up, August. We're not naming her Lucy. Anyways, Leila, that is such a great name suggestion. Fine. How should we spell it? Well, we could spell it L-E-A-H, or we could just make it more simple and spell it L-I-A. Mm, I like L-I-A. It's different. Okay, perfect. So is everyone happy with calling her Leah? Plain and simple. I like it. Me too. Sorry, buddy. Peppa's just not going to cut it. Maybe for the next one. If there is a next one. A beautiful name for a beautiful baby girl. Okay, we get it, Dad. Pepper who? Don't worry about it, Mom. Okay, well, we also need a middle name, but I kind of already had that in mind. Mom, if you don't mind, I was thinking of giving her the same middle name that you have. You have a middle name, Annie? First time I'm hearing this. This is definitely not the first time you've heard this, August. This is literally your mother-in-law. Maybe my mom was right about you. Really? I'm honored. Okay then, I guess it's settled. Leah Marie Collins. <laughs> All right, so my mom is taking the kiddos back home, but August, um, have you noticed that Layla seems a little, I don't know, jealous of Leah? I mean, it's understandable. There's been a lot of changes recently, and now there's a new baby, but I'm a little worried about it. I figured, but I didn't want to say anything to upset her. It's normal. I just don't remember her being this way when Leo was first born, but maybe it's because he's a boy? My mom said that when her little brother was born, she hated him. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't have siblings, but I guess it is normal. Help me put her down. Tried to ship him off. Twice. Okay, can you stop being so loud? She needs to get her rest. Oops. My bad. I can't believe we have three kids now. Finally, we are back in Bloxburg. I cannot wait to get home. I'm glad we went with this car after all. It's perfect for our family. Okay, let's get baby Leah out of the car and we can go in through the garage.
Home sweet home. And it smells like they're making breakfast. Hey, guys. I knew I heard something. Welcome home. Hi, Mom. Hi, Layla. We're back. Hi, Leo. Hi. Have you kids been good for Grandma? Not giving her any attitude like you give us? No, never. Okay, I'm trusting you. August, um, do you think you can make a warm bottle real quick? Oh yeah, for sure. Let me set these keys down. Thank you. Mommy! Yes, honey? Can you play with me later? Oh, I would love to, but not after breakfast, okay? We can dress up and have a tea party. Mommy's really, really tired and I just need a nap, okay? Oh. Okay. Do you want to say hi to Leah now? Oh, thank you for the bottle, August. The bottle is ready. I guess that's a no. That's okay. All right, let's go ahead and have our breakfast. I don't know what I would do without you. Grandma, do you want to play with me later? No problem. Dig in. These smell great. Sure, Layla. I'd love to. I can play with you later, Layla. We can play how many times does daddy's football team score a touchdown? That sounds like a terrible game. But not for long. I have some much needed errands to run now that your parents are finally home. It's okay, Leah. Yeah, um, she definitely needs a nap. Mom, it's okay. You can take the seat over there. Layla Collins, I saw that. Who are you rolling your eyes at? Don't be disrespectful. That's what I want to know too. I'm eating in my room. No, you are not. After we just decorated your new room, you were not eating up there. Layla Grace, if you don't bring that plate back downstairs, we're gonna have a bigger problem. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nah, -uh, cause where my belt? Oh, I cannot deal with this right now. What is going on with you, young lady? You know what, Um, I'm just gonna take Leah upstairs. August, do you wanna help me put her down? You've been acting difficult ever since the hospital. I'll be right over. We did remodel the kids' rooms, so... This is Layla's new room. It's so cute. It's definitely giving princess vibes with the canopy over here. And she has a little wardrobe for all of her clothes. So yeah, that's Layla's room. Too much princess vibes. Because why is she acting like that? All right, and now we have Leo's room. It is so cute in here. We went for like an animal foresty theme. I don't know. It's kind of random, but it's really cute. I think it really fits his personality. This room is my favorite. I don't have a favorite. I like them all equally. If we didn't have Leo, I'd sleep here. <laughs> I bet you would. Last but not least, we had to move our room over here. And this is where baby Leah is going to be sleeping. It's so cozy over here. So... I'm gonna go ahead and put her down. And honestly, like I said, I need a nap too. But first, I'm just gonna brush my teeth. Hey, you can't go to sleep yet. You have to deal with the other two kids because my mom's going out soon. Oh, come on. Not you acting like you were the one in labor. I've had a long night. Yeah, sit that chair up straight and go deal with your little children. I'll be up here sleeping. Bye-bye. And stay out. Thanks so much for your help, Annie. It was really nice having you here while Akila and I were at the hospital. Of course, it was no problem at all. Well, I guess I better get going. One sec, I'll back out of your way. Let me get the keys. You're not going anywhere. We haven't played together yet. Let's go inside, bud. I thought I'd have more time, but unfortunately I don't. We can play another time. I think I know what your issue is. You're obviously a bit jealous, and jealousy isn't pretty. That little girl is your sister. She's family. You don't act like that towards family. Family is all you have in the end. Old people always say stuff like that. You just don't get it. What's the deal? Don't say it's hopeless. Remember the good time. Is it worth fighting for? Mommy! Mommy, wake up! Mommy! Layla, what, what do you want? I said I needed to take a nap. I'm tired. You've been acting like a little brat all day. I finally get a moment of silence and you come and wake me up. 
Well, I'm tired of being ignored. We haven't been ignoring you, honey. We've been trying to get you to be involved. Yes, you have. Well, we're not doing it on purpose. Your little sister just needs a lot of attention. She's a baby, honey. Now, what is going on up here? Leah is sleeping. I know that. We were both sleeping. And then Layla came and woke me up. And you know what? I'm sorry I snapped. Okay, I think we need to have a talk. Now, you meet us in your room. Here, bud. Hang out here for a while. You guys lied. You said no more kids. I know we said no more kids. We weren't really expecting another kid. But sometimes life just throws things at you and you just have to take it. I mean, I know you've been going through a lot. We literally moved and you're away from all of your friends. And now there's another baby. And I'm sorry that this has been really stressful and we promise we're gonna do everything we can to make it up to you. Your feelings definitely matter, but that does not mean it's okay for you to act the way you've been acting. Listen, sweetie, we both understand how you're feeling. It's difficult being the oldest, but you are very blessed to have your little brother and baby sister. I was an only child, and there were so many times I wanted a little brother to play football with. We also know that it's not always easy sharing, sharing attention, sharing your items. And I know today got a little out of hand, but mommy was just really tired, okay? We just want you to learn to be grateful for the life God has blessed you with. Sure, it's not like the Kardashians, but we hope we've given you a happy life. So do you guys promise you're not gonna like forget about me or something how could we forget about you we love you now come here we love you so much you complete our family okay everyone well that is going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching our first role play of the year and with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye but I can't, scared to